Welcome to Lantern TV for the first edition of the Women's Basketball Preview. As today, we're going to be previewing Ohio State versus Michigan this Thursday. And Pat, let's start there. It's going to be a battle. Yeah. Uh, these two are obviously rivals. Last time they played each other on New Year's Eve where Michigan came away with a 19-point victory. Obviously for Ohio State, they have J.C. Sheldon and Taylor Mike, so it was a great backcourt duo. But what are some more offensive pieces they're going to need for them to come away with the victory on Thursday? Well, I think let's start with the defensive end and uh, with rebounding. Uh, last game, uh, Ohio State was out-rebounded 48-27. to So I think definitely that's going to be an emphasis for them moving forward in this game. Uh, people, a couple players uh, to look for here. Um, Rebecca Mikulasikova, last game she had three rebounds, but I think this time she's going to need to take a uh, huge presence within the paint and kind of uh, guard Nas Hillman and, you know, get everything together in, in the paint. And also looking for uh, Tanea Beecham and uh, Gabby Hutcherson to really step up. It's really going to be a collective effort for the Buckeyes here uh, for rebounding. For sure. and, and it's going to be a neat collective effort. Uh, Ohio State just won. They're on a six-game winning streak now, 22 in the AP poll, just recently defeating Rutgers. Michigan's on a winning streak as well, five-game winning streak recently beating Purdue. Um, They're number seven. Um, t you talked about the defense. What are some offensive adjustments Ohio State are going to need to keep up with Michigan? Yeah, well, for the offensive end, I think you're definitely going to need some more balanced scoring. Uh, obviously, you're going to get the production, the usual production from uh, Mike Sell and Sheldon. But I think you're going to need to have like a third option, third scoring option, uh, kind of step up. And one of those players could be uh, Ricky Harris. So uh, last game against Rutgers, she had 10 points, and uh, she's been inserted to the starting lineup. So that's someone who can really step up as a viable scoring threat uh, for the Buckeyes. To De definitely, team. definitely. And Ricky Harris, who's entered the starting lineup, especially with uh, Kateri Poole going down with an injury, and definitely. Um, so it's nice to see her stepping up in the lineup. Uh, just Talking about Michigan a little bit, obviously, as you mentioned, Hillman, she's averaging 20 points per game this season. You know, she's entering the contest, back-to-back double-doubles. Um, what's the Ohio State's defense approach to try to stop her in this high-powered Michigan offense? Yeah, well, last time her and Emily Kaiser both had double-doubles. So, like I said, it's going to be uh, an emphasis for the Buckeyes to be in the paint and kind of just stopping them inside, uh, provide like an inside presence for them. And also, I think they need to speed up the game a little bit with their, uh, with their full cut pressure. Um, they've been doing that all season, but I think this, this time they're going to be able to really ramp that up and try to get, them, uh, get Michigan's offense out of their rhythm and make their offensive uh, schemes a little disjointed. So really like 30 the game up and kind of you know, move forward with that. Definitely. And it wouldn't be an Ohio State game without a, a full court press from Coach McGuff's defense. Um, the tip off will be at 7 o'clock this Thursday. Ohio State will welcome Michigan to Columbus in the Schottstein Center. Thanks for tuning in to Lantern TV.